signed by three members of the Legion, the American Legion Post 14 Junior League team. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. And you are, introduce yourselves from left to right here. Um, I'm Grant Henderson. I'm Alex Danner. I'm Connor Smith. And Grant goes to Martinsburg. Alex goes to Jefferson, and Connor goes to Washington. And I nailed that. All right, uh, so you guys starting this junior season last weekend. You started off 2-1. and one. I know, Connor, you had a great pitching outing. Uh, kind of what has this opportunity been for you guys? I know the junior league team, Triple, join us later on in the show. Uh, it's kind of been up and down. He's had a team, but he hasn't had a team. But this year he's got two full teams, one senior, one junior. What is this opportunity for you guys to get better this summer? Well, it's a great experience. Um it's a great opportunity to have this to be a part of, and I'm really excited for it. Yeah, I feel like uh, this is a great opportunity to get a ton of reps, uh, get us better for the years to come in high school. I feel like it's fun because we're playing with older kids rather than our age. We get to show how good we are. And it's fun. And you guys all being 15 years old, so still have a lot of growth and this is one opportunity to grow i know it's still early on but what are some things that you've already learned from your coaching staff with post 14 i mean i've learned a lot with this like just like more like mental things of the game i've learned like just more ins and outs of the baseball yeah i've realized that the game's a lot more mental than physical you got to have your head on right if you're going to do good also, you got to be more serious now because you're getting into your high school year. You're getting into like, you only have like three more years left now because we're soft. We're going into sophomores, so it's we just got to take it more serious. Have any of you guys uh, played together before uh, Berkeley Post 14? And then what's that been like getting to know other people from different schools? Um, yeah, I know me and Connor's played before on the travel team. His dad coached, and then me and Alex played ever at, at Martinsburg Little League for a few years. But it's um, it's been fun getting to play back together. And what is kind of you know for you know for you, Alex, and for Connor, what's the the experience been high school wise? Uh, you guys both were getting varsity action this year, and and for you, Grant, uh, you know you start at the JV level for most of the year. From what we could see when we were getting ready for the varsity games, when we were calling those Martinsburg games, what is kind of this that first year of high school ball been like for you guys? Well, I didn't really expect to get as much varsity time as I did, but I thought it was a great opportunity, and uh, I tried to do my best. I thought it was awesome, like just standing at first, knowing you're playing with seniors and you're still a freshman, and I thought it was just crazy. Yeah, I mean, even at the JV level, I still like felt the experience. It's just a lot more fun than what anything else has been. Since you guys are the younger guys uh, coming up through the ranks in your respected high schools, we haven't got any chance to talk to you guys yet. So just tell us a little bit about yourselves and start off with who or what gave you guys your love for baseball. Well, watching it was a big thing. I remember watching Adam Jones and Manny play, and I just, wanted, I just loved it. I thought it was <laughs> awesome. And then my big thing was Chris Davis because I'm a first baseman watching him just – Hit balls out, and it was amazing. Yeah, my dad really introduced the game to me at a young age. Pretty much had a bat in my hand right out of the womb. Um, and watching it, obviously, Manny Machado is my favorite player. Being a infielder and all, he showed me a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, my dad kind of introduced it to me when I was young. He played in high school. He was pretty good. So he kind of introduced it to me, and I just kind of fell in love with it. I mean... And also watching some like big league infielders like Javi Baez and a few others. I mean, it's just really inspired me to be better. All of you guys probably have plans to, uh, you know, earn big minutes on the varsity team next season. Uh, how do you think playing post 14 this year, especially going up against older competition, will help you achieve your goals uh, when it comes to high school play? I mean, I think it's helping us mature a lot and. Uh, then again, going back and just getting a lot of reps, just making us better, all the yeah. medals and stuff, yeah. Yeah, playing with the older boys is definitely going to ex be experience because uh, varsity is all older boys, and us being younger, we need that experience this summer, and I think it's a great opportunity. 
And, you know, for you guys, you are on the junior Legion team here for Berkeley Post 14, but the way that it's kind of been set up and just the number of players that are on this team that have, you know, had that varsity experience or next year going to be varsity guys, obviously, uh, you guys are getting the opportunity to play those 18, 19 U, U teams throughout the season. Next weekend's going to be a big opportunity for you guys going up to Morgantown with a big tournament. Uh, what is, kind of that, how does that make you feel knowing, you know, you're on this team that is technically a 17 U team? but all the teams you're going to be playing uh, or most of the teams you're going to be playing are kind of like what you're going to be seeing next year in, in high school. Well, I think we have a great team, so we're uh, pretty much ready for any competition. We're overall good from, like, pitch. We have a lot of pitching, and then we have a lot of hitting, and we have a lot of fielding. It's just all around great team. So when we go up and play older kids, it just shows how good we are. Yeah, I'm going to have to piggyback off kind of there. I mean, it's just really, like, it's just really maturing. I mean, it's just maturing us up. What are some of the goals that you guys have set for you guys this season? Win and overall get better against older kids and grow as a baseball player. I just want to get bigger experience at the higher levels with the older boys, so I'm ready for next year. Mature in the mental part of the game. When you look at your team, uh, a lot of EPAC guys obviously being a part of it, uh, the Eastern Panhandle has kind of built this reputation as being, a, you know, a powerhouse in the state in terms of high school baseball. Uh, what's it like to just, uh, I guess, be a part of a team with so much talent from the area and the fact that, you know, now that we have a junior and a senior Legion team uh, plus some other Legion teams and travel teams in the area, what does that kind of say about this area in high school baseball? I mean, it's it's awesome to know that we're playing with the best of the best in this area. And just knowing that, I mean, we make a mistake, we know we're going to get backed up. Yeah, this area has a lot of great ball players, And to know that uh, us three are one of those top ball players, that's a great feeling to have. Especially when we're out, like, with the older team, how good they are, and then we're with them. It just And then when you play high school, how good every other team is. And for you guys, obviously, Tripp is kind of like the, the head man here for Post 14. He's the manager of the senior league team. But for you guys, you're going to be working closely with, you know, some guys that have gone through the system. And then the head guys, Ryan Childs, he, you know, he played professional baseball. How's that kind of like going to be knowing you're going to be learning from guys, one, that have been in your exact position at one point, And then two, a guy that's played where you probably have hopes and dreams of playing. Well... He's already helped me a lot with pitching this year. He showed me a lot of new tips and tricks, and it's really helped me a lot, and it's a great opportunity to have a former MLB player as my coach. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a really big pitcher myself, and um, just knowing that he he pitched profession, professionally and he, um, he knows a lot of things, it's helped me out, like learn how to throw different pitches and how to throw them better. It's also helped me mentally, like, to know what pitch to throw, where to, how to attack batters, and overall how to be a good pitcher. We mentioned earlier that this is the first year that Post-14 has had a junior team. When you guys found out that they were going to do a junior team and were asked to be on the team, I guess what were your reactions and why did you decide to join? I thought it was an honor, knowing how good the older team is and how well and how they get everyone seen and offered like Cam Moore going to Fairmont and everyone else like Steven going to Shepherd, it's just a great opportunity to play. Yeah, I was really excited knowing that uh, all the better ball players in EPAC would be on this team and it's a great opportunity to play with them. Me growing up with most of them, getting back together with them was an awesome thing to hear about. Yeah, I was kinda honored to find out that I was invited to play on this team knowing that like we were gonna be playing a lot over teams, knowing that it was gonna be a, it was gonna be competition and I was just excited to play. And I kind of asked you guys more about Ryan Childs as the, the manager for your team, but, you know, I mentioned it a little bit there. Jack Weber, Josh Rush are guys that are on that coaching staff for your team. Uh, you know, how much does that kind of – how much are you guys going to learn from them about kind of EPAC baseball and then just baseball in general as they've played in the college ranks? I feel like, um, I mean, with them being younger, they, they understand us a lot more than some of the other coaches do. But, I mean, it's just – I feel like we're, some of us are closer to them because they play our position than that they're closer to our age so they can like kind of relate to what we think. Yeah, I'm going to go off what Grant said, them being younger and understanding us more gives it 
them easier jobs to help us. Them both growing up in the EPAC really helps too. They know the EPAC well, so they can help us better. They're also good because they push us. They want us to succeed because they know how it is like to be in our shoes, freshmen, young, and then just how they help us. All right, well, that will do.